Hello guys, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. If at the end of this video you find my content helpful, subscribe, like and share my videos so that YouTube will know that you like my content. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to cut two methods of frowns. The first one is going to be the spiral frowns and the second one is going to be the pepperon frowns and it's easy to make. So if this is what you would like to learn, then watch this video to the end. So I'm using this brada satin just for illustration. And then I'm using these basic tools. So let's get right into the video. So guys, as you can see, this is my fabric and it's 29 half inches by 33 inches. So I just join it in the middle because the fabric is too small for this illustration so i decided to join it in the center here so we'll take this to be the center line so i'll start by drawing a cross line in the middle so we take this to be the first middle line so let me fold it to get the four lines in the center of the fabric so let me draw the cross line in the middle so that it can be visible to you guys. So this is the spiral frowns. We are starting with the spiral frowns. So this is the center point of the cross line. So from this center point, I'll be marking two inches. And I'm going to mark the two inches all around. So please don't use pencil because I'm using pencil so that my markings here will be visible to you. So if you are sewing for anyone, please don't use pencil. So you make the markings cross to each other so that it will be easy to connect. After marking the two inches round the center, the next thing to do is to connect the points. So after connecting the points, I'll pick one line and mark four inches. This 4 inches is the length of the frowns. You can go up by 5 inches, 6 inches, or you can come down by 3 inches, 2 inches. You can take any of the lines. So I'll just take from here. I mark 4 inches. So after marking the 4 inches, you connect these 4 inches to one of the lines here. So you can use a curved ruler or you use your free hand to connect from this line with a curve to meet these four inches. So I'm using my free hand. You can use your curve ruler or your free hand. So after you continue marking the four inches all round, that's the length of your frowns. From this four inches end, you continue marking four inches all round. Make sure that the markings are close to each other. So that it will be easy for you to connect. So I'm taking the 4 inches all round. If you like, you can increase it or decrease it as you want your frowns to look like. But in this case, I'm marking 4 inches all round. You continue marking so you consume all the fabric. So when you reach this corner that you connected the curve from, you continue the 4 inches. So guys, I'll continue to stop at one of the quadrants. That's where I'll start cutting from. So the quadrant is, this is one, two, three, four. So all these are the quadrants. So I'll continue to stop at one of the quadrants. You can stop anywhere you like. You can stop in the middle of the quadrant. You can stop on the line. So I'll continue till I stop here on the line. Then after, I'll connect all the lines and then start cutting. So this is where I'm st stopping. I'm stopping on this line. So I'll connect all the points together and then start cutting them out. If you are marking, please mark it on the wrong side of the fabric. Because this is tutorial, that's why I'm marking it on the good side. Now that I'm done connecting all the lines, I'll start cutting it out. I'll start from where I stop. This is where I stop. So I'll start cutting from here. So just watch what I'm doing. Just follow me. So what I'm cutting out now is the excess fabric before I start cutting out the main fronts. 
So all these are the excess fabric. We don't need this fabric. So now I'll start cutting the main fronts. I'll start cutting it on the lines that are marked all around here. I'll cut this circle will go out. We don't need this circle. I'll cut it out. So just follow me as we cut it. So in case you don't want this curved line, you don't want your front to have this pointed edge, you can stop here and then cut it straight so that it will be straight like this. But I'm cutting it off because it's a tutorial. So guys, you see how our spiral fronts look like. See the plates? Don't mind the journey. If you want to cut it and sew your own, you can cut it together with lining so that all these journeys will be covered. Or you don't cut it with any journey in the fabric. So I'll be folding it on the table to see how the fronts look like. So this is how you fold your fronts. See, it depends on if you are fixing it to your skirt or a dress. Start on where you want to fix it, either the waist. It started like this, you see. You fold this like this, and then you bring this one like this. Then you take the next, and then you fold it under like this. You arrange it well. So I'll continue to fix it up. So this is our spiral France. You see how beautiful, isn't it? So we have finished with the spiral France. Now we are going to the peplum frowns. As you see, frowns gives beauty to your dress and it gives elegant looks to your outfits, like your trousers, your top, your skirts, and you can style it in many ways. And it's very easy and simple. So let's continue with the peplum frowns. So with the peplum frowns, this is the good side of the fabric, this is the wrong side. So I'll be folding it on the wrong side. So with the peplum frowns, I cut my fabric 22 by 22 inches. You are going to be folding it like you are cutting 360 degree thread. So I'm going to fold it in half like this. And I'm going to fold it again in half. So I fold it into four. So the next thing to do now is to mark the radius of the circle. And I'm using three inches for the radius. You can use more than that, you can use 4 inches, 5 inches, but my fabric is not that big. So that's why I'm taking 3 inches for the radius. And you start marking it from the uh, center point of your folded fabric. And you're going to connect the lines. Let me hold the fabric because it's moving a little. You determine the length you want your peplum to be. But because this fabric is not enough, I'll be marking seven and a half inches. And I'll be taking seven and a half inches across. So this is it. So I'll be cutting the radius and then after I cut the length. So this is our peplum frowns. So the next thing to do is to open it. When you open it now, you get half a circle. So this is a full circle. And then we are going to take one line and then cut it. So we are opening one side now. So this is it. So you see how our peplum frowns look like. The pleat is bouncing very nice. So this is how it look. So the next thing to do is to fold it on the table for you to see how it looks you see i don't have enough fabric so it's not all that long so let me just end it here but if you cut it with a lining you get the right side of the fabric all through so this is our peplum flowers looking very beautiful and very elegant so this is it so guys we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you find this tutorial helpful, 
please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe share and comment on my video so thank you for watching see you in my next video bye